Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're in the section of the test where we're not given a multiple choice of answers. We're simply given a question and you're supposed to find the numerical value of the answer. One of the problems, of course, is once you get your answer, you're not sure if it's correct or not because you have nothing to compare it to. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Here the question deals with the velocity of a wave on a string and it says the percentage increase in the speed of a transverse wave produced in a stretched string if the tension is increased by 4% will be so in other words we're going to take the tension of the string increase the tension by 4% and how will that change the velocity of the wave on that string of course, you will have to remember the equation for the velocity of a wave on a string, and that is V equals the square root of the tension of the string divided by the mass per unit length, which is written as mu. So mu is equal to the mass of the string divided by the length of the string. Now that's going to be a constant, that doesn't change. We're just changing the tension. And so, what we can say here is that velocity is equal to the square root of t times the square root of 1 over mu. So this is simply the constant times this. Now, what is going to be the change in v when we change t? So what we can say is delta v is equal to question mark when t becomes t plus 0.04t. In other words, when we add 4% to the value of t. So essentially what we get is we get the new v is going to be equal to the square root of t plus a delta t times 1 over the square root of mu. We don't we could put the square root over the 1 as well. But so we know that this is a constant and we're going to change this by 4%. Now delta t 4% is a small value of the initial value. And there's a rule that comes in really handy that makes this problem relatively easy. The rule is as follows. If we take the square root of a plus delta a, where delta a is much, much smaller than a, this can be written as the square root of a plus or minus one half times delta a. Oh, I guess we don't have a minus there, we just have a plus, uh, delta A. So in other words, we can take that out of the square root sign and simply say that it's one half times the change in A. Only if this is much smaller than that. So essentially what we have here is we have V is equal to, or the new V, right, the new V is equal to, um, the square root of t plus delta t times 1 over the square root of mu. And so that's a constant times this. So this can be written as v nu is equal to, and we'll put in parentheses, the square root of t plus 1 half delta t times 1 over the square root of mu. And so this becomes the square root of t times 1 over the square root of mu plus 1 half delta t times 1 over the square root of mu. And now we realize that this is the old, new, uh, old v, so v nu is equal to v old before we change the tension by 4% plus 1 half delta t times 1 over mu, the square root of mu. So now, delta t, here's the 4%, so this would be equal to v old plus 1 half times 4% times 1 over the square root of mu. So that's how much we're changing the old v, that's the change. This is your delta v right here. So this here becomes your delta v, and it's going to be half of 4%, which is 2% of v. So therefore, we can say that the answer is 2%. So again, the trick is easy when we keep this in mind. We can always say that we take the square root of a number plus a very small change. That can be written as the square root of that number plus half the change. And so therefore, it'll be half the 4%. That means 
V will change by 2% if T changes by 4%. And that is how it's done. You remember that rule? <laughs>